<laughs> it's Ina. So yeah, as you maybe you followed me a little bit, you know that uh, I got sick and yes, I'm still sick. That's why it's winter, short sleeves, just because uh, I still think I have a bit of a fever. So yeah, it kind of helps me uh, not to die. <laughs> So today uh, the plan is to play some games and uh, also wait let me set things up so we're going to play some games and we're going to take uh, Amanita Muscaria and uh, that is it so th today we're going to take eight grams and actually um, got a capsulator and I capsuled my Amanita that I purchased that I showed you in the capsules Ugh. so I took the largest size that is uh, 000, zero. I'm not sure uh, exactly like the dimensions of it but hello server you're dying but it's it is what it is as you can see uh, they are not completely full the capsules they are still there's like some air on top <laughs> so it means I did not um, stuff them properly okay not properly fully I did not stuff them to as much as I could have done it so yep it is let me see one second okay um, today we're listening to Vina House uh, DJ Bei Fong as usual why because it's a nice uh, music for playing games and also it is uh, non-licensable <laughs> okay also i made some christmas ham and actually i uh, roasted it for a very long time it's still like with the net so it is as you can see i cut it and it is falling apart so it is that tender that soft it smells nice it has been in the oven for maybe four hours today um so yeah Mm, we have two viewers. That's nice. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, also, I'm going to eat it with my boiled potatoes that I bought a couple of days ago and the rest of remoulade sauce. It's like Swedish white sauce with mayo, a uh, little bit of mayo, I guess. Gratfil. It's something like we can substitute it with sour cream and pickle relish and some spices like if you want. Uh, regardless drinking it will be water actually the sauce is quite old but I'm not afraid of eating old food <laughs> okay I'm from Russia so what how bad it could be so yeah really sorry for my voice if you can hear any problems I don't know sometimes I'm going to clean up my nose because that's it is what it is. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the new season has started and uh, it started pretty well. Actually, I got like four wins in a row. Everything was great and I was like slowly climbing, but after there were some defeats and uh, this is not from the beginning. This is like from the 13th of uh, January. I think I started the ranking, the new season started like 10th or 11th so it's been already a couple of days and if you can see it's like 50 50 some teams they were just obviously much better than my teams and like in one game i'll get s plus the next day game i will get like c something and uh, the reason is i think because everyone started from zero so basically matching was not uh, really accurate you could get like some platinum players or silver players or gold players matched together with like iron and so forth like in one of the games when I was talking to uh, people like we were discussing our levels I was solid bronze you know like I was in bronze for a long time other one was like solid iron another person claimed to be gold but it's like oh i did, uninstalled my game a couple of years ago now i'm back and we're like no you're definitely not gold he was like the worst of us so it's like hey you can definitely see the skill so i i think i'm in bronze 364 points it's exactly where i was basically before i was like bronze 2 1 but this is pretty accurate 
so um, this season I played mostly Soraka Swing and uh, yeah it is what it is so let's uh, see well firstly I want to eat a little bit I just want to remind me, uh, you that uh, I always eat during the streams I like to eat and actually I haven't eaten anything today I ate some uh, rice porridge it was like more like breakfastish snacks so I told you that I don't really take um, Amanita muscaria often I only take them when I really need to when I feel like uh, they have I would say not pain because when I have pain I take painkillers when I really need to normalize my sleeping cycle or when I have extremely jumpy legs or some kind of physical things that I cannot fix with the painkillers so yeah this is exactly it because I got sick I was not able to sleep properly uh, for almost a week because first my husband got sick and after it transmitted to me we like made uh, did the covid test today they're negative so it's fine but still so yesterday like i mean last night i went to bed quite early i tried to fall asleep maybe around 12 or midnight okay it's not early but for me it's early right and i almost fell asleep but after i was like okay i felt so nauseous uh, and i was like nah it's not going to work and my eyes started to hurt and started sneezing and it like immediately awoke me so it's like nah impossible to sleep so yep and uh, i decided to watch some stuff on tv and okay i felt like okay maybe it's working i'm kind of falling asleep but again i woke up or actually i was unable to fall asleep and i was like in that mood for almost like five and at least the last time i checked was 5 45 a.m and i really tried to lie with my eyes closed in the silence while my husband was sleeping and i tried with tv i tried reading i tried everything it did not help and it was quite late already to take uh, mushrooms because you know but sometimes they don't work on me sometimes they work but <laughs> they're slow so that's why trying to stabilize my sleeping routine this thing uh, last time i took six grams and uh, we were streaming for like three hours and there was nothing i just made a couple of yawns i see even now i'm yawning uh, but not because i'm really sleepy it's just because i'm a little bit weak because of my sickness so each of these capsules is a little bit less than one gram so let's say if i want to take six grams i need to take seven of these to be sure at least my kitchen scales they're not really precise so this is how i calculated and i already tried six of these and basically they do the same thing as that tea that I drank and <laughs> there was nothing good and <laughs> nothing uh, bad of it. So today I want to take 8 grams as some of you suggested in uh, one of my Russian uh, YouTube channels because you remember I have two, one in English, one in Russian, so I have to dub everything and I have to do all of the experiments <laughs> twice. So today uh, if I want to take 8 grams I need to take 9 capsules so i'm going to count them one two three let's look and swing four five it's a lot six seven eight nine so these nine capsules they're supposed to be about eight grams um yeah this is it and i'm going to consume them now okay of course i can't take all nine but i'll try two at a time oh my god they're huge uh why do i take them now because definitely we know that it takes way too long so these mushrooms they were dried uh, with 45 degrees uh, celsius and after they laid for like three months 
in the dark place. I think it's better to take one by one so they won't get stuck. Because already I feel it's kind of here, <laughs> like at the Adam apple. <laughs> that is the one that I don't have, but here it kind of hurts. Okay, three. Four. So we have five to go. Five. I think I'll get sick just by drinking that much water at once. Six. Oh, I already feel not good, but it's <laughs> not because of the mushrooms, it's just because of the um, swallowing big things and drinking water. Seven. Eight. Oh, my body doesn't want to drink that much water. And the last nine. Okay, finally, so I can close my jar, put it away. Oh, I need to eat something desperately. Here I have the candy. Oh, we're good. Now I feel cold. But this shiverness is uh, just my fever because I'm sick. Oh, candy is good actually. Okay, it seems like they're not coming. So we can go here. And I can get a hoodie. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, just in time. Okay, I should remember not to steal in this. Golem. Don't have to check. Okay. Uh, Misfortune and Lulu. And I have to get. And their jungle is Zack. So Zack, he likes to I jump from the bush. Me. Actually, he needs to jump from the bush, so let's put the uh, wood there. I know that I should focus primarily uh, ADC, so we are going to try to... Oh, I didn't want to hit the minion, but uh, it just happened what it happened. <laughs> I always remember to stay behind the minion. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, Misfortune. That was uh, pretty nice. She definitely has to use her healing potions. <clears throat> that is a good sign and also she has to kind of stay a little bit behind and we can try to get some kind of... Whoa! Now what? She killed me? How is it possible? Okay. I know she used her kind of, uh, I think it's called W, super weapon, but uh, I had quite a lot of health and I... Um, has been slain. Oh, Severe died also? How is it possible? An enemy has been slain. I have killed more men with words. Yeah, it's crazy. How did they uh, kill us? <coughs> just literally, and the potion, and they had health. And she just one shot me. Okay. <coughs> so, I got some news from Migration uh, Agency. They gave us uh, a choice if we want to continue 
with the application of uh, the spouse visa, like a residence permit, or if I want to apply for asylum. But I don't really, okay, we, we don't want really to apply for asylum because uh, most of those cases are getting uh, uh, rejected. Uh, and also we have pretty strong uh, case for being who we are, a <laughs> married couple, so there is no real reason of doing the asylum. I am. And I'm definitely not a refugee at the moment, but to be honest, it's a little bit scary of uh, coming home because uh, you don't know what will happen. Like, the road is so long, I mean, the route, and I really have to go through so many countries, so many customs, and don't have any credit card and if you're carrying cash and you're a woman even if you're a man like you're carrying cash it's always dangerous okay you better Okay, Vi stole the dragon, uh, but we died. I don't know if a dragon really worth, if, it, if it's worth uh, two death. Okay, I'm just support, but it's already my second death, and um, what's uh, her name for Vi? It's also the second death. And Zack is now 4-0, I don't think it's really good. But it is what it is. It is not enough for not to be strong. I don't know this Lily, she, for some reason she's kind of good. I remember my husband used to play her and uh, he was also quite good with her. I don't know, Miss Fortune, she's so strong, is like, how is it possible? A summoner has disconnected. So, why got disconnected? Because she's kind of pissed? So At least I knew that this uh, little Lulu Shmulu was sitting in the corner. Do, 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 do. Hope you're enjoying my <laughs> being the house. It's actually oh, not as loud today. Oh, I kind of missed. I didn't really want miss click. Didn't really want to use it at that time. But it is what it is. Never Come on, Severe. We, we don't want you to die. I tried. And at least she used her R. I don't know. We're still four. So we definitely have to report why. The question is would we be able to do anything with four? Okay, let's go to the base and maybe buy something and actually I don't know where is oh here is my phone. Haha. <laughs> I was like I heard something was <laughs> almost vibrating but I couldn't uh, really see what was it. Okay, let's uh, Surrender, I guess yes, because the other team is so much better and uh, we have this AFK by Who 
Would they even struggle to survive if they knew what was to come? Okay, I'm going bottom to you, Sivir. I suppose I should be grateful they have peace. I don't know, three uh, for one. It's time to try my meat. Mm. Okay, it's salty. Uh, it was already in brine when I bought it, so I did not uh, actually have to use any spices. But I'm too salty. Okay, minus nine points only. Uh, that is a really good thing. I really like how they changed it because before it was uh, even if uh, one person left it still got like full deduction it will be like 15 points 16 points now it is much much better i'm kind of much happier with these rules nowadays let's look at our friends so far in my friend list i'm the highest because I played the most games, but it does mean that I'm better because if they play the same amount, maybe they'll have more wins, less defeats. Yeah. I actually have a fork and a knife here, but eating with hands is much, much more delicious. Oh, the time is salty. I wish it was less salty, but it is what it is. So let's dip it into this remoulade sauce. No, it's okay. But I think um, I kind of made pulled pork out of this Christmas ham. Maybe I should have cooked it for a little bit uh, less time so it would... Um, what? So it would be more firm <laughs> and would fall apart less. But it is what it is. Mm, I forgot to tell you that in this stream, because it's a reaction to uh, Amanita, I forgot to change the name of the stream, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's do Morgana. I increased like my face in the game, like my camera, so it will be better. Okay, Amanita. In capsules, eight gram. Okay, done. We changed the name of today's stream. Good. Now I want this potato. It's cold, and it's with a skin, and I don't care. I love ski potato skin, so I know what it is. I know some people, including my husband, they're like, oh no, the skin is so bad, I need to peel it off. I don't really care anymore, I just think it's delicious, as long as it's clean. Mm, good, this potato, mm, so delicious. Cold potato is always great. Yes, I can easily switch to change. Okay, they gave me only four seconds. I'm well, it's fine. At least I have my Swain. Okay. 
Okay, let's get it. Mmm, combo combo, combo. Uh -huh. Ham and potatoes. Mm. Again, Lulu? Ash? No, 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 no. I don't want Ash support. Ash support is really annoying. See, maybe we can make um, our music a little bit louder. Okay, I think now it's good. Oh, they also have Talaya. Mm, Talaya mid. Mordecai the tops in Jawa Jungle. Tristana Ash for me. Ezreal Swain. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of pretty matching, but I think the bottom is Ash and Tristana, they are really too annoying guys they're a really good combo and Ash, she slows down so much Tristana pushes so much Ezreal can always jump back I have no escape I have to kind of tank and I'm slow This sauce is just like ah. I don't want this game to start because I really want to eat. bad like <laughs> when you feel scared of or intimidated of your opponents of their choice it's not always that bad <laughs> sometimes uh, you are just a little bit better okay this is only Sinjao here so it's good yeah, I used my flash, but I got to... Uh, I'm still alive. And uh, what? I didn't uh, let myself die, uh, be killed. <laughs> so it's pretty good. It's uh, not a bad start. Uh, we had much worse situations when just people died for seconds. And uh, why not? <clears throat> So because I went to bed like at uh, let's say five in the morning, like not went to bed like I fell asleep. I woke up first time at 10 a.m. because I really wanted to make my ham before husband will go to work. So I had to kind of. Uh, put uh, the mustard around and uh, I had to <laughs> what I'm alone here and what's going on he's not moving I 
Okay, at least we can do the remake. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I don't know why did he refuse, but uh, okay, got disconnected. It's nice that actually we were able to have remake and we didn't have to fight like me one against four, and after he will come late and he will be um, what a super weak. Good. Nice, so we can play again. So yeah, I basically went to bed at 5, okay, fell asleep at 5, first time woke up at 10, and I think that I was still kind of in bed, half asleep, half north, and at 12 I put the meat, the ham, in the oven, and that is it. So basically I slept for five hours. Okay, let's say six, six, six hours. And I woke up kind of recently. <laughs> I have to think. So I should not, normally I should not fall asleep quite soon. So it will be a good thing to see how mushrooms work, if they work. I remind you it's 8 grams or 9 capsules, let's say maybe it's not even um, 8, maybe it's like 8.5, but my scales are not that good. So. At least you know it's 8. And I was uh, quite hungry, like I haven't eaten much, but I'm eating now. But mushrooms went first. ban ash no misfortune because her R is uh, like area damage is pretty big I don't like it if she's in my team okay it's fine and other team I don't want her I don't know who's worse like twitch or misfortune Definitely no Syndra is really nasty, but Syndra is rarely bottom. Okay, I'll have zero. Severe is it again the same severe? I didn't check the name of the from the previous game. <laughs> okay. Let's see match history. And I couldn't see, didn't have time to check. Yes, I will be swaying again. Yes, I can use the switch. Wherever once I can change position. Hmm. Pick switch. I'm going to switch champions that I'm uh, banning. Hey, panda. So today we're eating, actually I already took um, how much? Eight and a half grams of Amanita Mascaria and eating Christmas ham, homemade. <laughs> it's actually uh, more like pulled pork, but it's a Christmas ham. How are you doing? Wow, I think I'm feeling mushrooms, guys. I definitely feel almost like drunk. Hmm. I'm surprised. 
I'm not like drunk, but a little bit. Okay, maybe not drunk. Maybe a little bit high. When you have not the flashbacks, but kind of traces when um, when the when your consciousness stops for a couple of seconds or milliseconds let's say you're turning your head and you're like oh okay i've noticed like instead of the one smooth picture i've noticed only certain pictures kind of frames picture frames which is interesting i'm drinking water so i got sick panda been how much sick maybe for four days and sometimes they feel hot like now <laughs> and they just took the hoodie off and I already feel cold and shivering this is crazy okay I'm not taking my putting my hoodie far away just staying here with me and I'm also snacking on my uh, DIY apple cake mm, sounds like fruit leather I'm not, how, I'm not sure how to call it it's basically egg whites and apple puree and uh, you just whisk it and after you dry it in the dehydrator or the oven so it could be soft uh, like chewy and if you dry it for a long time it will be just nice dry snack okay i need to get my second item so please just poke the harder who is the grump okay see the I shouldn't give pills. Okay. I didn't have time to really write anything. I wanted to say we'll try. So poke, poking hard. <laughs> the only thing, po uh, the only real poking that I can do in real life <laughs> is the ass poke. You know, all of those uh, Japanese movies. Okay, not movies. Japanese. Actually, yeah, movies, TV shows. Um, they really like to do this like put hands like this and straight up to the asshole and say Kachoo! at least it was kind of popular in 2014 2015 and i learned it from my husband haha because he was into uh, japanese culture and also chinese culture and that's uh, what his students did a lot to him and i was like okay it's interesting so i'm kind of master at this type of poking i'm not sure that i'm uh, actually you know that i'm not that good at really poking here in the game and definitely i'm not good at getting a uh, minion kill In it. It's like anything? No, it's not anything. Now I feel cold. What's going on? But uh, definitely, this is my fever. <laughs> okay, 23 minutes to win. I have to change my washing. Oh, <laughs> I also have laundry actually in the washing machine. Okay, wait. I have 37. Okay. <laughs> My typing was not really good, I don't know. I really pressed all over the keyboard. But I cannot say if these are, I don't think they're mushrooms, it's just. Um, Sometimes I'm not good at clicking, especially when I'm talking. Okay, karma. What am I doing? Why am I doing that? I, that is sometimes I just want to kind of attack someone, but uh, even when I know that it's quite late and there is no one there, I'm still trying. So did she say like second item or uh, level two? I think she said second item. She wants me to poke them. But second item is like fucking whole game. At least for me, it's like a lot. Oh, 
Yo, why? Why are you ping me? You fucking wanted me to do that. To be aggressive. I'm trying to be aggressive, but it is not easy. No, this uh, D I should have not used, but uh, she's already out of uh, kind of mana, so I'm desperate, I would say. Okay, this Karma, I did not expect her because she has like a lot of stuns. I don't like Karma with stuns. She's basically like... Uh, What's her name, Morgana? But I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Let's see. Oh, I thought my E was already ready, but it was not ready. Okay, what's going on here? But no, I'm sorry if I'm focusing the not uh, the one who you want me to focus, but I'm doing my best because she is so annoying as a as a pickles as figs. I don't like figs, so she's annoying. That is uh, what I think. Karma gave him ha oh, ha yes waste your mana while I'm just walking here peacefully and casually. No 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 Don't you think we should kind of uh, recall? I have so little. Ho ho! Blah 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 blah. Nice! First blood from Swain! From me! Ha 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 ha! It's when I was actually desperate to leave. <laughs> Two kills! But usually when I get kills, you know what happens after my team loses. <laughs> oh, we have enough money for a lot of things. Maybe it's time to dress up again, at least half a sleeve or one sleeve. <laughs> okay. Oh, coldy, coldy, coldy. Hello, Azrael. Oh no, I didn't hit you. It's not comfortable to play in a hoodie with the sleeves when they're kind of a little bit thicker. Okay, I'll take Q. Mm -hmm. Hello, Karma. Okay, I thought he will go to the left, but he did not. Focus, exactly, focus! We need to take them down. Yeah, I'm not really doing anything there, just... Uh, 
wanted to do 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 show a little bit. I I almost uh, pulled him. Ooh. Okay, so she actually killed Silas. That's good. I think it was the tower. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Come on, Sevir. I believe in you. Okay, I have my R. I just don't want uh, this Ezreal to use his R. <laughs> so don't stay in the same line. Don't. I just need one stupid pool to get a little bit more health so I can withstand that stupid Ezreal and his R. Okay, let's put the ward there just to be sure. Okay, Mordekaiser, are you coming here or not? I will really feel more confident if I get like one pool of someone. Okay, I don't really want to come very close, Sivir. Just for your information. Have you I? This is really, really scary. But uh, that was uh, well bad, bad try. I don't know what she was supposed to do. Try to go out the jungle, but I would have been dead. So it's kind of... Ah, it is what it is. Okay, at least we got uh, Finnish Kodak. <laughs> okay, let's buy the Oracle. Because recently I've been forgetting to buy. It. Silas is dead. I stopped him a little bit. Okay, I wanted just to put a wood there, but uh, it didn't really work. <laughs> I pressed the scanner accidentally. Oh no 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 no! Severe, run away, run away, run away! Wow, full bottom. Okay. We call it apple mm, apple kappa. Okay. I can't do anything. 
Okay, so Pope is uh, has lost the tower. Oh no, Mortu! Okay, this is Aurelia, that is um, not bad. go here just to be sure I'll put a ward there okay Mordu you did a good job I wanted to use actually flash to kind of uh, drive away somewhere, fly away, but it was a bad decision. Mm. It is what it is. And not always the best. And I'm only brown, so what do you expect from browns? Okay. Why? How did you take this uh, tower? Is it not enough for Noxus to be strong? We killed the Laoi, so that was uh, worth it. Now I can go bottom to my lane. Your team has destroyed a turret. We are at war. Do not forget it. Okay, I can inspect. exactly so it's karma says focus okay so the enemy team is actually <laughs> supporting me a little bit it's like oh yes away and you have to focus to kill us thank you it's exactly what I need right now okay Mordekaiser killed uh, Silas that is also a good thing I was alone. I thought uh, Sivir was actually going, but she was. Uh... Okay. go wherever you want so you can just stay there but first of all I have to buy the stuff here do 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 Elio is a tough cookie and I have just used my R Okay. 
have to wait. Because uh, she's level 12, she's above me, even without her R and low health, she can kill me. Okay, that little bitch is coming. Told me I should have not actually gone there. Ooh, what's going on, Aurelia? Okay, severe modifier. So that's that was good. Okay, guys, come on! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's uh, not as bad as I thought. I think I'll go for a billion orb because of the Lioi. See what does she have? New attack on the. I just buy because definitely this. Um, what's his name? Yeah, he has only them. Renga. <laughs> What I'm going, don't worry. I am on my way. Actually, I don't need to go anywhere because I don't have enough money to buy anything else I have just bought things that I need okay <clears throat> I'm going to already in my arm. Shit, that's uh, really bad. We, we would have definitely killed her if I was sure that I was using my arm. And exhaust, I don't know, it kind of clicked too late. Okay, so after um, I told you that I felt a little bit that I had um, how do call it? Fr frames, uh, picture frames. Uh, after the mushrooms, now it's, this feeling is gone. Everything is normal. So we'll see how would it go. Okay, I'm still too far. Can't use my double miss. Yep. Who is there? Okay, I will go here to you guys. Yeah, yeah, 
Red Rambler, very good. Off the free little bit. No, 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 and I died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if a lie away can pull your soul, it's difficult to get out of that. We just need to get more money to buy the Monica Embrace. This is it. And see, there's Omnivam. Double Omnivam, that's good against him. He's, he's magical. Ezreal is just regular. ABC. He's magical. Feeding girl. That's how she ran that fast because of karma. Job more dog. I'm here with you, Aurelia. Stay strong. Why did she steal it from me? Okay, I was dead. I was dead. It's okay. How are my other team is alive. Okay, let's get another candy. Mm, Nash, new Nash is alive. Okay. I'll buy a slow wheel because not enough for demonic embrace later I get more money. I will sell the slow stick and uh, I will get the um, demonic embrace.
Aurelia, what are you doing, Aurelia? I don't remember who has laundry. Okay, ah, that was the my alarm for longer. Come on! Okay, stop it! Okay, that was uh, my alarm. Um, I would say I really, if she wouldn't, I don't know, she should have told us that she will jump. I don't know what she was expecting. She just leaped so deep into them. All of us were so behind. I mean, in steps and in speed. I even used my flash, but it didn't help much. Maybe I should keep this low stick. Why always the difficult one? At least she didn't catch me. Okay, really is uh, smashing the base. I helped her a little bit. I have 18 seconds to my R. 13. Yeah, so my fucking R. Kind of survived, right? Stupid Ragnar. Okay. See, but uh, <clears throat> let's end it. Okay, don't have money to buy anything. Any anything else? I don't, I don't want to really sell my um, how do I call it reward. <laughs> Forty-six seconds to break.
it. That was not good. Uh, oh, she's still alive, okay. That was good then. Woohoohoo! <laughs> good game! Actually, I really do have laundry and. Uh, Maybe I can wait a little bit, so maybe after next game we can put the laundry out, take the laundry out. I will still vote for Severe even though Aurelia was really good, but we played together and oh, I'm going to sneeze. Mm, two likes, ha ha ha, who is the second? Sa Sasha Natsus. Actually, I kind of missed how many points I got, but it's okay. At least we won. Oh, but really, I'm going to sneeze. I think all of this um, nose spray that I'm using is kind of stopped working now. And <laughs> oh, and I'm getting cold again because it's winter. It's been actually warm for couple of days maybe like three or four days we had the uh, temperatures was like above zero but yesterday it started snowing again so it became colder again but I still I think I still have fever so today I didn't take any um, painkillers I mean not because I'm in pain but just because uh, they are paracetamol and they basically fever fighting, <laughs> have fever fighting components. But this uh, fever is like, okay, not fever, flu, is not really bad because I don't have any inflammation in my throat, I don't cough, it's just like a little bit of runny nose and sinus, a little bit of fever and uh, I'm sneezing a lot. Mm, just in general, don't feel that well. <laughs> Oh yeah, so mm, during these days uh, I got like, okay, I did not get scammed, but people tried to scam me. So I was offered a job online uh, in the field of tourism, like you have to book hotels, you have to write some re reviews and so on. And I was like, okay, first of all in booking, I was like, booking in Russia online. Uh, it does not make much sense to me because this area, this field is not that... How, how to phrase it correctly? I would say not that popular or like if I want to buy something, a tour, yeah, I will check the website but after I will go to the company and after I will buy it there because I want to talk to people, I want to maybe negotiate certain things. So I would never just buy something like just online and uh, my friends the same I guess, I'm not sure. So I was like, okay, first of all, it just sounds a little bit strange and if I just need a hotel, yeah, I can do, they can just do booking by myself. Why do they need an operator? But maybe they needed to double check something. So I was like, okay, interesting. And while we're talking WhatsApp, they, um, I used my... Swedish number in WhatsApp and they were like, oh no, no, we, our operator, our agent cannot add you uh, because they work only with Russian numbers. So I was like, okay, let me change. So I changed my Swedish number in WhatsApp to my Russian number. And uh, I think the reason for that, they just needed my phone number. And actually, like in Russia, you can do a lot of things with the phone number. You can just transfer money just by the phone number. And It'll, you'll, in your online banking, you'll just type the phone number and automatically they will show different banks which, uh, to, with which this person has worked, or this phone number has ever worked. So I thought, okay, maybe they need it for that kind of thing, so they want... I already knew it was suspicious, but I was like, okay, it's just the phone number, nothing else, so because I never gave them my full name or password or anything or I never said like if I have any bank account or they never asked those but I was like phone number whatever so I started talking and they tried to they spoke in like a little bit uh, weird Russian language I could definitely see that 
the person who was writing was kind of a, not a native speaker, let's call it that way. Uh, when I type, I may not sound as a native speaker sometimes, because maybe I will do mistypes uh, when I type font. Maybe I like the sentence structure, how I make them, they may be more Americanized, okay, not Americanized, more like westernized uh, or Latinized compared to Cyrillic, Cyrillic structure. So I was like, okay, but I felt something fishy. And they started telling me that it's basically uh, writing reviews. I was like, okay, so fi writing fake reviews. Okay, not a problem. If it's money, I can do it. It's uh, not the worst thing that I've ever done in my life. So it's like, fine. And uh, they tell me, send me the link where I should register. So I did register. First of all, I did stopped replying for a couple of days because my husband got sick and uh, they were super nice and sweet with me. And I was like, okay, this is already suspicious because if people want an employee, they would not really tolerate the type of behavior. So another red flag. Nevertheless, uh, they sent me the link where to register and actually I checked the name of the website of the place where they're supposed to work or the company they are from it's called hostify.com and first of all I was like sounds familiar and hostify is actually one of the uh, web services like domains, uh, domain services like web hosting and so on so I was like already kind of strange there was not so many, not so much information about their Hostify. It's like hotel tourism stuff. And when I started reading the information, the page was loading very slow. I was like, that is very strange because I opened some Russian websites here from Sweden. Some of them, they don't work at all because they are kind of uh, protected by, I guess, Russian firewall or something like that. And the others, yeah, they make open up slow. My own website op opens up a little bit slow from here, from Sweden. Not all the time, but sometimes. But that was even slower. I was like, okay. And after I started like reading information and I understood that there was like, I understood nothing. I didn't really understand what they were doing. Like. I could guess, of course, because I'm not an idiot, but I was like, okay, something is another red flag. So they sent me a link where you're supposed to register as an agent who's working. And that one was <laughs> extremely fishy because it was just half of the screen. I was opening the link on the computer. So and that website was made only for the cell phone. So everything was crumbled, everything was uh, kind of not looking nice. Uh, when I tried to read information like, you know, fact use and everything, they tried to make it look legitable, uh, like legit, like there is some information, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, but uh, like how you're supposed to work. But they, nothing really gave me the exact information of guidance how it works is anything so i was like uh -huh, i don't believe in i don't believe you but i was like okay let's uh, just check it out what type of scam it is how are you going to get money from me oh, yeah, they give up. sorry i need to clear up my nose Okay, so I told uh, not I. Yeah. Uh, they told me, okay, we're supposed to teach you. You need to copy you know, like a special ID that you got while you registered after you registered and send it to us, so we can add you. It's basically like um, what do we call it. It's like Oraflame or Amway when like I'm selling something and after I get a new seller and I get a percentage of, it's like a skin pyramid and whatever you sell I get percentage from that 
I still always under that person who is called Monica. And it's again, the name Monica for Russia, I'm sorry, this is not the Russian name. And if uh, there is, if there is any person with that name, maybe, but probably they will be Armenian, so they won't look like blonde, uh, super hot American model. So even photo of the person looks kind of fishy. So nevertheless, okay, I want to play Swain again. Um, person, they gave that information to this person, my ID of that, from that website, and they told me, okay, I created a new account where you can uh, learn, like it's basically my account, but you can learn how to work on it. It's supposed to do, oh, we're banning. Let's go with Twitch. I don't like Twitch. So I get in and they say, okay, you have to click, you uh, see, there's like a balance, this is how much money uh, like uh, I have, and uh, on the right is like commission, how much you earn from uh, like earn today, uh, which was I think zero, it doesn't matter. So basically there was like 30,000 rubles or 25,000 rubles uh, deposited and uh, okay, you have to click on this uh, booking and after a random hotel will pop up with a price that really does not match it. For example, there would be like um, Ritz Carlton, super famous chain of hotels, uh, two days, one night, and it will be like 160 kronos. Really? Uh, it's impossible. I'm sorry. I don't know who would believe in that. You would never get the type of room for that type of money. Uh, so it's obvious, like fake stuff and it's not even the, the end so you just there is like that hotel that price uh, that price and you must click on the review it should be five stars review and you must choose a review so i thought i will need to write something and just by writing creating those fake comments i'll get money but no you just need to choose there are like five or six written you choose one and you click continue and it works and to be able to earn something you need to do like 35 bookings um, per time and after that uh, you will get your commission and if you want you can uh, withdraw it to your bank account and so on and of course while during these bookings like you had to do 35 a couple of times we ran out of um, the budget or deposit uh, was negative and uh, they really pretended that okay look how this is weird like uh, you need to send a message to the like, what, uh, our support team and uh, they will help you to, they will give you the information where you're supposed to deposit money and we did it two times and of course i didn't do anything that monica uh, she was uh, depositing money her money everything was good and at the end, like basically it took maybe 10 minutes just because of these depositings. Uh, depositings, they were quite long, like they pretended to be long. And they even made like some screenshots from the real bank, but uh, they're, kind of, they're fake. They look, they look alike, but they're fake. And uh, at the end, after 10 minutes, they tell us, okay, uh, you see, we finished uh, this deal, like 35 deals, we finished, and so now we can withdraw money. And I earned 32,000 rubles, let's say 3,000 uh, 3, kroners. It's actually more, I think, but it doesn't matter. For example, 3,000 kroners. And here's your commission. Here's like your 300 kroners. And you can ch uh, go to your account, you can check. And I go into this fake account. I say, oh yeah, I really have this. And uh, they say, okay, now you can do your bookings. And I'm like, okay, I have 300 crowners. That will cost me, that will maybe maximum what I can get book one room, but I need like 35 rooms. And I'm like asking, okay, but uh, what about depositing? I don't have money, but she's like, no, but you have now like 3,000, uh, like 300 crowners, you can do it. I'm like, okay, I'm trying. And that was ridiculous again. Four five star hotels like Molenpick, uh, Four Seasons, 
uh, stuff like that in Zurich, in Berlin, like all around the world. And the prices they are like, I don't know, 50 kroners? It's like five dollars, really? That is an absolute lie. I don't know who they really thought will buy, buy it, but whatever. I kind of clicked, click, click, and it was okay. It, I got enough money for 31 bookings, so I need four more. And oops, suddenly I'm negative. Uh, I don't remember how much. Let's say negative 3,000 rubles. Uh, negative 300 crowners. I'm like, okay, I'm in the minus. And she's like, oh, but uh, now you can deposit money and la la. I was like, uh, no, I don't have money. Okay. I'm unemployed, I don't have any money. I have like uh, literally, let's call it like three pennies uh, on my account. And she's like, oh, but you can find them somewhere. I was like, oh, but didn't you just get like, uh, how much was it? Uh, let's say 3,000 kroners two minutes ago. So can you uh, can you lend me? Can I borrow from you? She, and they were like, oh no i'm sorry i was like but you just got money you have money so what's the problem she's like oh but all of the money they are at my husband's uh, uh, bank account so i'm not allowed to touch it i'm like okay but you know if i won't finish these deals you will not get any commission from me because I will not be able to do it, and if you do it, all of us will get money, everyone will be happy, <laughs> and still nothing. <laughs> They're like, I'm sorry, I cannot. And this is just like, they really, uh, I thought they will actually do this shit with money quite early, but they really try to pressure a little bit longer to show like, oh it's so easy to earn money with us and you literally have to do nothing and you will be as rich as uh, Pinocchio or whatever Bill Gates I was like nah so be aware of the website Hostify because I see that they actually posted uh, this type of uh, ads on uh, Facebook in Vietnamese groups for Russian speakers and uh, I don't really know um, <coughs> if uh, they are trying to scam actually I think that it's only for Russian speakers yeah because um, they have only Russian bank accounts so it makes sense. Speakers, be aware of this stupid website, Hostify. Don't let them cheat you. Luxon was his name, Lucian. Oh, it's misfortune, they were so lucky. Lucian was in the previous game. Their jungle is silent. Let's put it here. He's top. Never make a bark for a penis. The two to two. And 
see your back. I would be able to pull her, but it didn't work. Yeah! Okay, that was I was I don't know what I was doing. I thought that I was uh, invincible. <laughs> That's uh, stupid, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, Jinx. I'm sorry. And that's why my healing potions didn't work. They were on number position three, not two. Ooh, Maltahar also came there. Ah. Okay. Suddenly it's extremely cool. Let's focus and let's play. Okay, what can we do? Do 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 do. I have two death Jinx has one. Misfortune 2, Lux uh, 1, two. Okay, we survived. Thank you, Jinx, for saving me. Still alive. Okay, okay. I peer the darkness others fear. An enemy has been slain. Got R, but it is fine though. Too late. Okay, at least I was able to put a wood here. Think locks that I don't know that you're there. Oh, 
I just recall? And we'll buy a scanner because there is nothing this else we can do. This so why? This is like a very... It feels like even AC doesn't work. Why, why there are so many mid? Please kill them! Yes, Lux is dead, that's good. Ooh, luckily Echo came. I mean, I'm still dead, but uh, still better than we kill We also killed someone, so I got like at least one assist. <laughs> Because we thought there were like only two, like three versus two was kind of pretty good odds. that echo king stupid mouse no he was smart he was smart i was stupid but uh, shouldn't have gone with the Nuno, but i wanted to be a little bit helpful i should uh, think more about my health Because I don't want to be a feeder, right? No, 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 Swain is not a feeder. <laughs> okay, at least I don't want to be a feeder even if I am sometimes.
didn't know that she was there. No, I'm just trying to make them kind of run a little bit. <laughs> okay, I was <laughs> on the cross <laughs> under the crossfire. Jinx, no! In Sulta. She shouldn't have died. She died because I died. I'm gonna wait a little bit to buy this uh, sorcerer's shoes. Nice echo. <laughs> well job, good job. Well done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Echo is the smasher. The carrier. Yeah, this Olaf is also pretty scary. Yeah, there are three of them, so it's good that we actually <laughs> recall <laughs> because I don't want to really face those guys. Three of them.
nice, nice, Olaf. My team is like everyone is legendary in my team. Except me. No one wants to take Drake long. We would have gotten like a lot of time. You know, like they think maybe we're not a good level enough, but still. Okay, I have to recall definitely because I have a lot of money. Okay, not like really a lot, but still a lot. And I need wood. Guys, you can do it like all of you. alone there but it's still fine like I, I at least I survived Mordecai's uh, so it's already better than just die immediately right so maybe if I had my teammates around me maybe I would uh, 
I've lived longer. Okay, and uh, let's take W, the magic guy. I'm actually a little bit thirsty. Okay, do we have... No, we don't have enough money. Don't Zoe, 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 Zoe. Cho, cho, cho. <laughs> this song is... Uh, interesting funny because tap is coming or luna new year is coming in vietnam it's tap in china it's chinese new year Did I kill someone? I'm trying, but I'm kind of super low health. I mean, me. look there so yeah lots killed me because it didn't look <laughs> oh. but this ham is so salty i don't want to eat it it's so salty what can i do i decided to buy magic penetration first and demonic embrace with oh actually we need to take um, mr okay who definitely spirit visage kind of didn't notice that uh, is, um, that all of them their ap except this portion He was first to start the Baron, so I don't really understand if they talked about me, but I was kind of on the way, so I don't know. Spectre is calm. Let's destroy all of these things. I 
low joints, so I really put him into his place. Good game. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I did much uh, that I contribute much to this game. Probably, if I was AFK, they would still my team would have still won. So at moments like this, I feel a little bit sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Yeah, B. Plus 16 points again, I think it's much better now because um, you can see when you win, you get more points than when you lose and I think that's correct. So I think right now we're going to have um, two minutes break or three minutes break because I need to get the laundry out and I'll let you check the stats while I will be back soon. <laughs> So give me two to three minutes and I will be back.
am back. Oh, it's cold outside. So I brought some apple chips. Actually, if they are super dry, they'll be chips. Now they're just kind of just dried apples, but they are pretty soft. I like them too. Oh, if I have put them in the glass jar or like airtight container, I saw them, they will be like chips, but now not. And I have a banana called Bajella or Bajella from Colombia. Actually, I can smell it a little bit, <laughs> but not much. Okay, let's see. We got a message. Uh huh, okay. Uh, so basically, my friend wanted to play, but <laughs> I was uh, unloading the washing machine, so I couldn't really. Let's see. He's selecting champs, so I can eat some apples. Oh my cans, cans! My hands are so cold after being outside. Mm. Let's see how soon would I find the game. I brought this much. They're good, and you see, they've been dried, but they're still quite white. So you have to, when you slice, then you have to put apples into the water with lime juice. And that's it all. Still looks nice. Oh, my hands, they are frozen. Okay. I don't know why does it cancel. Um, what do ban? I mean, switch the position, not like. <laughs> yeah, no problems for me. Switch two times, three times is still fine for me. So first meet after top. <laughs> which for them it's really essential and I understand especially the top and they need to know who they're facing so um, because it, it could be like stupid Timo but okay of course Timo is banned but it could be a really bad matchup I think Mundo will be good versus Set. Who so will be all I mean? Okay, Malzahar again? A lot of people started playing Malzahar again. I don't know, I feel a little bit... I'm not so tired. But something like with my eyes, they're <laughs> slightly mm, closing. But this could also be mm, because of the light that I have here in front of me, it's quite bright. And because I'm sick, my eyes are more sensitive. Because even when I just watch TV, or watch something on the computer, on the phone, still my eyes could hurt a little bit when I'm sick. But from what I feel, like this part of the face, we feel more relaxed naturally. Like, you know, mm, 
maybe a person is super depressed and they can't really uh, um, they're emotionless and they have no feelings and their face is completely relaxed so even if they're they can't be happy like let's say I'm super calm now at the moment and I actually like this feeling and I don't think I would be able like okay I'm smiling now and I feel like a little bit of tenseness in my cheekbone area so I just want to be super relaxed and I think this is um, definitely how the mushrooms work uh, I really feel like in this area under the eyes the cheekbones they, so I'm, my face is relaxed Like other parts of the body, I have pretty good control of. Mm. I still think there is a little bit of, not say dizziness, not blurriness, just maybe a little bit like of tipsiness. Let's let's imagine you drank slightly a bit of alcohol. You just started feeling it, and uh, maybe you want to cut something. You're still cutting everything fine, but you're not that sure in yourself. So that type of feeling I, I'm having right now. But nothing else. Eating, I'm always eating. And again, this is my first proper meal. And what is proper meal? I ate one potato and a, and a third. <laughs> And uh, I cut this tiny piece of ham and I ate only half of it. So that's dinner. So it's like not much food actually. And what? Apple chips? It's like one apple. Here is my also banana. Okay, we have Zoe mid versus Mazahar, could be a good uh, choice. A fellas misfortune. <gasps> Morgana. Oy oy oy. Oy 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 oy. Let's hope Morgana isn't good, but her stuns are usually really nasty. Oh, and now I feel a little bit of nausea. And it's not like in the throat or anywhere, it's just like, again, in the mouth or under the cheekbones, like where the jaws are connected, somewhere there. So, not really pleasant one. Wait, that was there? I thought that was uh, somewhere else. And there are so many people, sometimes uh, my reaction is not as good. It's always like teasing them, like <laughs> really uh, recalling at the weird place. It was either a big truck or either a train. There are no big roads here, so I assume it was a train. But the sound was a little bit weird for the train. Maybe it was like a um, not passenger train. Pets, where are you? Where is my push douche? Okay, Aphelis and Morgana. For Morgana, we really need to stay behind the minions. <laughs> okay, level 2, 
that is nice. Oh, I can't get anyone. They're pretty good. Hello, Apple Dos. Morgana is uh, not really good at aiming at the moment, so we are somewhat even. Why was it so far? Okay, their jungle is mostly... He just killed our the same. Question is where did he kill them? Kind of didn't pay attention where did it happen. basically blocked uh, my pull on Ophelius with her E, with her bubble. It was W. Okay, I can also go. Oh, so top pick Kale, not Mundo? Interesting. I thought we had uh, Mundo. I didn't pay attention at all, but um, who knows? I actually quite often don't pay attention to those things, especially while I'm streaming, so it's not a sign of uh, anything strange, but it could be. That maybe I became a little bit more relaxed and a uh, more, I would not say absent minded, but kind of. So we kept spamming. letting you killing to kill um, I will not let you kill my misfortune I love her do you know she's a good player Let's show how much you have for the stuff Oh, 
I miss her just a little bit. Oh, she's still here. Interesting. So I'm still half level to level six. Quite far. Let's put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put the ward. Hello, Padana! This banana is almost tasteless. Like, I can barely feel any flavor. Tell me again all the prices I can see. And I'll tell you the prices. Maybe because I'm sick, so my nose buds, they can't really smell much. And a lot of flavor actually goes from the smell, but it's kind of tasteless. Die, asshole, no, and he survived. Misfortune, please kill him. Yes. Please survive. Yes. Malta Harris here? I oh, know it's still a failure. What was that? That was super nasty thing. 
and we lost mid because Zoe stayed too long and she died. Because they released Harold, the bug. I think I'll buy boots. To penetrate him. This must be. Come on, Zoe! Kill Misfortune. Uh, no, kill. kill uh, what's her name? Morgana. Here it comes. I'm sorry for stealing, but I just wanted to have an assist. There are five steps from you. I am ten steps. Put bot lane means me? No. Okay, we're not good players, but what are you supposed to report us for? There was no hate speech. There was no harassment. There was no inting. There was not like. A negative attitude so what are you reporting for After the battle, the Definitely not good at play, but something to report, just not good. Okay, I'm coming to you, Kale. I tried, my E didn't work for some reason, I don't know what's going on. Okay, at least to kill Seth. We're just, uh, yeah, I 
don't know what to do. Basically, the both of them were not good, but on the other hand, uh, I understand why we lost mid, but what's going on with top? kind of means uh, the whole team was not good. Come a little bit closer to kill that. Uh, who was there? Uh, Malzahar. Because I already killed Master E, so she should have come closer. <sighs> it is what it is. Okay, we need something against um, this slow stuff. Maybe. Is it not enough for Noxus to be strong? I don't know what to buy. What are you, what are you supposed to buy against uh, Master Yi? If you know, please tell me. He's still alive, this asshole set. <sighs> really? Okay, revive soul stick. I will not give up. Maybe, maybe it's the end. Maybe, but let's try. Guys, like we cannot go for that crap. No one has to take care of the super minions. And what, Molzahar is still alive? <laughs> still not enough money! Okay, 
okay, Kale, just to go back. Alive. Yeah, this is bye bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> Defeat. It's okay, sometimes it happens. So, let's check the stats for the day. It's not the end, we will still keep playing, but oh, it's kind of tense muscles here. But let's have a look. Um, 74 points. I think I started today with 50 something, so it's pretty okay. Okay, mm. it's half a game. Yeah, it was fast. He's runs four. Let's wait maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh, <sighs> relaxing. Now I feel full. And actually, I feel very relaxed. That's nice feeling. I don't know, like, uh, if I would be able to fall asleep, like, if I lie in bed now, but I just feel relaxed, it's good, and uh, today I definitely feel that mushrooms, they're working, but someone who told me, okay, you take 8 grams and you'll have a trip, no. No, guys. Okay, I don't know uh, about everyone. Uh, like, everyone's body is different. But I know on myself and on my husband, tested, no, we don't have trips at all. Uh, let's say alcohol wise, uh, my husband has more tolerance. So. To be able to feel tipsy or drunk he needs to drink much much more than i do but um, regarding other things it's the opposite so my tolerance is uh, for some reason is really high so for me to be able to feel something i really need to do like to consume a lot of things so it is what it is but i'm pretty sure like if um like my husband taking uh nine capsules he would not okay he takes them just for falling asleep and uh, he needs it like not just oh i to drink it now and i just feel relaxed no he, because both actually both of us uh, most cases our state of mind is pretty calm yeah we have some um sometimes issues that are connected uh, to visas to work permits to our residence card and so on it was like in china and vietnam we'll have like a lot of anxious times and here because uh, my status is kind of unconfirmed i don't know where i stand so it's kind of difficult sometimes yeah but this type of thing will never help you with that so it may even accelerate your darker <laughs> Uh, sides of your mind and uh, bring you to darker places so it shouldn't do it but in general daily life we both of us we feel very po we are very positive people and we don't really hold grudges so there is n there are not so many things that they can really bring us down to depression or anything 
But ooh, ooh, ooh. see, I yawned and actually my eyes. <laughs> See, it was slightly closing and it was not. Um, I did not want to open them up. Yeah, so basically, uh, today I definitely feel the mushroom. So, yeah, again, my eyes are closing. <laughs> so, I just definitely feel sleepy. Tired. I don't think that. Oh, I can wait for that other game. Let's try one more game and see <laughs> if I'll fall asleep or not. But definitely, uh, now I can tell you that nine capsules definitely work. Um, the feeling of nausea. I don't say I would not say that she's it's still here but I kind of still feel it a little bit and it's not like I want to puke or anything but it's just something that maybe I just want to eat to not feel it but food actually doesn't help with it nothing actually helps drinks or like water juice tea will not really help it just it's always there yeah. I kind of uh, maybe I should have uh, uh, taken these pills a little bit later because now it's only 8 in the evening but huh? another yawn that's good it is good so I kind of have a strong feeling that Maybe after this game, I would want to <laughs> crawl in bed and sleep. So we'll see. And another one. Wow. Yeah, it definitely works. Like uh, when I drank tea. Uh, not the la last, uh, not the last time in the stream, but like my tea that I, uh, from the mushrooms that I picked, I had that heaviness in the whole body. Okay, here let's ban, let's ban Blitzcrank. I don't know. I have a feeling they might pick him. So this time I don't feel any heaviness in the body. <laughs> Another. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, today is definitely working. Okay, group says that they want to jungle, so bottom wants to jungle. And doctor, yeah, so. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ah! I can't even control it, so I can't even close the mouth. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy. So now I know that I need um, eight to nine uh, capsules. Today actually were nine, so to be able to fall asleep, but. Nine, that's actually a lot to swallow. Oh yeah, so uh, these mushrooms, they are, they were dried with 45 degrees uh, um, in the dehydrator. And we kind of thought, my husband also thought that they give they give him a bit of nausea because they were dried with low temperature so there is another batch um, okay it's the same the same mushrooms but I took some uh, of the powder and I reheated it in the oven on 70 degrees or 75 degrees Celsius um, why didn't do it in dehydrator because dehydrator uses the air so obviously the powder would be all around so it's uh, not what we want that's why I had to use the oven 
and uh, he said that probably or it, it looks like he has a bit of less of nausea but I haven't tried those yet so far these are just uh, the capsules that I made originally and actually this jar looks a little bit dusty <laughs> so I assume some of these capsules maybe they yeah I see there is an open capsule here it's, uh, it's okay so means next time when I'm going to encapsulate, encapsulate a new batch I'm going to stuff them more firmly and I'm also going to press them better and I will be more wise, gentle with the how did I do? I already clicked here on cross no because my friend from the USSR he doesn't he hasn't actually told me where is he from he is uh, finished he has finished his game so we'll see if he will join me or not oh yeah ask how is he doing today da, da, da. Okay, so, uh, so far it was good, 4 versus 5 wins, uh, but both was extremely weak. And it said that I had a lot of remakes, and actually we had like Surrender in, in our team, and they are... Let's see. Ah, that's uh, another yawn. Basically, it should be called uh, a yawning stream. <laughs> oh, count how many times did I yawn? How many times did I yawn? Did it count? Okay, let's see. Who are we banning? Let's go for Morgana. Okay, Moon is banned, Lux is banned, that's good. No Morgana, uh, Blitzcrank is available, but let's see if they are going to pick him. Mm. Syndra mid. Okay, she changed her spell, okay, <laughs> Smith, Smite. Okay, that's good. Musty and Zira, okay. Who will be our jungler? Echo. Okay, I like Echo. Echo the jungler is a good one. Who are they picking? So Jinx, okay, and support is zero, but now it's mid and top. I guess Vega is mid. Crook is crook. 
Oh, it's Kaiser just because of the skin I can't really see. <laughs> it's like blue and text is uh, kind of whitish, lightish. And we'll see who is top. Top da dup da dup da dup da dup da da Moody Kaiser. Oh, okay. Okay, she has already changed. So, 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 Zira and Jinx. So, 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 Zira and Jinx. So that's... Uh, relaxedness that I told that I have in my face and the cheekbones it kind of disappeared um, I can move my face again and when I smile I don't have that immediate feeling like okay I can't move my face so um, I think I feel a little bit excited because of the game but uh, I'm definitely still tired my eyes are I'm tired of yawning. So this is um, exactly the reaction that I want. And maybe not for the game, but mm, it's exactly what I want to get from the mushrooms. Let's go and get it. Okay, they want to invade. Oh, Pusha woke up. I got here. He woke, he woke up and he was like shaking. Like a dog. Like my little doggy douche. I don't know what they are trying to do. We are at war. Okay, don't worry guys. I just got a little bit of gold. Wow, good morning, Pusha. You woke up, my little Dusha. Okay, I almost forgot <laughs> to pull back. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, I don't have uh, double, uh, sorry, Q. Yeah, I wanted to E and Q at the same time. I don't like uh, playing against Zero either, but actually I like playing against Zero because I think she is uh, quite a strong uh, champion to play against, and I like playing against strong champions. Syndra is uh, so underestimated. Da 
do, 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 do. Let's see what is going to happen. my double for some reason it didn't work and I had enough mana but uh, now I'm out of mana I used all of it on this stupid zero Will you tell me my mur mur mur? I need to save a little bit of mana. Okay. I tried my best. Two little cats. I love them. My two sweet little pies. They're lying on their nice warm electric blankets. Pushik, no fighting, okay? Okay, what are we doing? We're going for the break. Okay, who was that? That was the most okay. but no okay reanimated hypo hey 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 who says you want so i have uh, we just started so i have some ham Christmas ham oops, that i made and i have a cat here who's uh, <laughs> stealing trying to steal it so trying to win just started as you can see seven minutes ago and uh, I took 8 grams of Amanita Muscaria or Fly Garrick, so now I'm actually started feeling a little bit tired. Yay! Kaiser, come on! Yes, good, good Kaiser. Love you, Kaiser. <laughs> cute, cute. Sorry. Okay. Zero there. Marmar, Pusha. So I don't know. I thought like Kaiser was kind of dying. That's why I stole. Uh, okay, stole this thing. Oh, a cat wants attention. You can hear him. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, he just woke up. This cat is uh, like me. He's uh, in a cloak. In a clock is uh, really unstable, so he sleeps at the weird hours. He sleeps all day long and all night, not, not all night long, 
he wakes up like five in the morning for one hour and he wakes up in the evening and when it's time for me to sleep he's uh, basically doing all of his screaming and annoying stuff I also have another cat and uh, she is mostly silent and quiet but uh, sometimes she also wakes up and maybe at 3 to 4 in the morning they usually have a little running a running track thing in the house and it's a pretty small place my cat sits all day and runs around the apartment all night it's extra scary yeah so like last night the cats they started running like maybe um, at four in the morning that was really crazy and they were like really chasing each other so do you have one cat or two or maybe three <laughs> i know like people who have cats when you start having one cat you always want to have more because we live like in a very small place uh, it's basically a studio but it's maybe even smaller than average studio or one cat like i was completely happy with my one cat uh, when we lived in china everything was great he was like spying on chinese people through the window and he was like looking at the birds from the balcony it was like really had quite great time i would say but uh, we moved to Vietnam, lived on the second floor and up the fourth floor and the windows they just faced into the yard and it was like cemented yard there was like nothing to do for him he was like super bored and uh, it was, we really had to get the second cat the second cat is the cute okay Porsche is destroying the bag uh, for my bananas okay. I'll show you him after <laughs> we'll finish with the jinx. Oh, Azira is there. I knew that she was there hiding a little bit. Yeah, I'm from Russia and uh, now I'm in Sweden since March. So I was living, I had been living four years in China. Okay, three and a half, almost four. And after about the same time in Vietnam and in March. 2022 moved to Sweden and since March waiting here for my decision so where are you from the fun part was to actually bring cats <laughs> because they travel all over the all over the world and everything I do is always like uh, not cats Miss International. Oh, Serbia. That's nice. I actually have some friends from Serbia. They are in China. <laughs> actually, one of them is in China. That's a Serbian. Okay, I have no mana. What can I do? I don't know if I should stay or not. I stole her farm. It's actually my friend also. Uh, okay, not friend. I met this person um, in the game and the uh, from USSR they didn't really tell me that, like it's a man but he didn't tell me where exactly is he from or what country is he now in but what I know it's uh, originally somewhere from this stuff oh I was in Sweden a couple of months ago whoa what city what did you do I leave uh, in Al Karlebi, that is uh, not very far from Uppsala. But uh, it's very much closer to Yavle. Oh, yeah, Counter Strike is always toxic. So the thing is, uh, all Russians that I made, all Russian speakers, let's be more honest online like in this game or in other games they were not toxic at all so in one of the games um, 
because of my name it's uh, written like in Slavic in a stranka means foreigner and uh, they often ask me where I'm from and I was very scared to actually say where I'm from because a couple of times I did there was a lot of uh, hate speech okay I got assist that's nice and uh, one of the recent people uh, who asked me where I'm from, we became friends on uh, LOL and uh, this person is actually Ukrainian, has been living in Spain for a very long time. And I did not, like all of the hate speech that I got, it was not from the Ukrainian, it was uh, only from other people from other countries. Okay, first Malmo, then Jodenburg and finished in Orebro. Oh, I actually have not been to any of those cities. I've been only to Stockholm, but only for uh, business purposes and my business means going to consulate or something like that. And it was actually in 2015 <laughs> when I came for the first time uh, to meet my Swedish family. And uh, now it's what? 2022. No, 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 We're not dying. We're not dying. So I haven't seen the country much, and I would really love to. So just waiting. For possibly <laughs> the positive decision on my residence permit. I plan to move there for good, just a matter of time. Oh, that's interesting. So it's really nice here. Like, I really like a lot of things. But the thing that is really bad is electricity prices. I don't know how it works in Serbia. Okay, I'm dead. Uh, but it's crazy that you don't have um, a code. fixed rate, for example, in Russia, you, I always know, okay, so maybe in winter we pay a little bit more and summer we pay a little bit less, but it's actually always the same. Uh, I just know, okay, one kilowatt costs this much, but here you have to choose the plan and there are many different plans, many companies and one of the plans is called Rolikt okay, it's not a plan, it's kind of a, a way of paying for electricity it depends on the what time you're consuming and so on and apart from regular shit, like, okay, you use that much, you pay that much you also have to pay for delivery of electricity that was a completely new thing to me, that I'm like, what is going on? Why do I have to? What is delivery? And after there are taxes on electricity, I was like, what is that? Okay, in Serbia, everything is expensive more than Sweden, but economy is way worse than Sweden. So it's basically like in Russia. That's how I feel because every time uh, someone asks me, okay, how much does it cost to rent like a place in your hometown in Russia? I'm like saying, okay, it's this much. And after they ask me, uh, oh, but what's the salary? I say, it's this much. And they're like, but how do you survive? I'm like, yeah, you don't survive. You live with your parents and they have, your parents live with the, their parents until someone dies. That's uh, the sad part. So I completely understand uh, and I see how, like what's going on and why maybe you want to move to Sweden, but uh, Serbia is kind of part of the European Union, so can you easily move uh, around Europe or do you need a um, special permit? Or like you're allowed to move for like 90 days freely and after you, know, if you want to stay longer you need some other type of visa? Okay, not part of you. Yeah, okay, I see. That is so confusing because Serbia is basically in the center. Okay, not exactly in the center, but kind of. Okay, 
Okay, zero is there, that's nice. I need to pay more attention to my Kaiser. So yeah, if Serbia is not part of the EU, it's like half difficult. I can imagine. So I got a reply from Migration uh, Agency, Migrationsverket, because I applied from Sweden to stay here. And uh, you, originally you kind of, you cannot uh, apply from inside, you must do it outside of you, of Sweden. And uh, I had no choice because of the air flights and everything. I came just to, to Sweden at the wrong time. And uh, they told me, that I can apply for asylum and I don't really want to apply for asylum. I think it will kind of affect me negatively later. So now I have to give them decision before 10th of February. I'm sorry distracting you from the game with my spam. No, it's not spam, it's interesting. It's just I uh, was not really good in this game. Just that is it. And now like the local policy in Sweden, they like uh, the new party became to power and they a little bit more strict with all of the visas and stuff so it's uh, a bit more difficult now they stopped giving away asylum easily and um, permanent resident to asylum seekers Only way I can move out of here since I'm not going to find a job or find a woman. Oh my god, yeah. Jobs, it's <laughs> difficult because I don't really see uh, any options for finding a job like from abroad unless you're super qualified, I would say over qualified person. Because I don't, or you have like connections. A lot of Arabs and Indians, uh, like Pakistani, people from basically East or Middle East, they find jobs here with a very low salary. Let's say like 13,000 a month or 11,000 crowns a month. And now the minimum uh, requirement for getting work permit is 13,000 something. Let's say 13 point and a half thousand crowns. And uh, or like they get 18,000 and after they cannot uh, really pay because it's supposed to get like a salary and after the salary uh, you need to pay all of the rent and stuff and after that like uh, you're supposed to have that 13 and a half thousand crowns and it's very difficult a lot of people who got here i would say not scammed but kind of uh, a little bit through shady ways they have struggles now and they cannot support themselves and they like they themselves plus a wife plus kids it's very difficult for them now no, I completely agree. So that's in Sweden, it's so much better to leave. I'm just saying it's more difficult now to find a job because, first of all, people um, hiring agencies, recruiting agencies, first of all, they want to find someone or they consider someone who is already in the country. So if you're not in the country, you're kind of <laughs> much lower. Uh, you have lower chances and after that it goes language barrier they don't want to usually to hire people who do not speak Swedish and it's very difficult to learn the language before you get the personal number and you can get personal number only if you work so if you have any kind of residency permit so everything is oh, so annoying like I'm uh, for the past eight years I've been working as a teacher and I have pretty good CV like real credentials I work I've been working in a college language college I've been working at the international schools at private schools teaching like Cambridge curriculum and so on I applied to so many jobs uh, to so many schools 
And actually, that's not even my first education. My first major is GIS, Geographic Information System. Um, I also have experience a little bit, but still working in the cadastro department, uh, working with maps and so on. And all of my experience here is irrelevant. No one wants to even consider me because I don't have permission to work here. So work permit. If I like, if I had local papers, it won't be a problem, I think. But when you don't have those, they don't want to hire. They just ignore. And like uh, every time when uh, you see any jobs on LinkedIn or anywhere else, they're often, even Swedes complain that those jobs, they actually have already been taken. Just by, uh, according to Swedish laws, you, uh, not you, the company must announce to work on uh, the job on the European Union website. I don't remember the name of it, but um, so what? they must do and usually those jobs have kind of already taken or they tell you okay you can apply through that governmental website a lot of the jobs like 99 percent all of them you have to apply through the governmental uh, uh, local municipally Municipality, okay, local government website, and uh, you cannot even register there without a personal number, and you cannot get it unless you get residence permit, so all work permit. It's very difficult. Yeah, because uh, I started planning all of this like three years ago, and actually two years ago, I was uh, sending my CVs almost every day. And I was sending mostly to international schools because that is my <laughs> field of expertise and they have a lot of uh, English schools here. They're called Engelska Skolan, where all education is in English, exactly what I've been doing for the past years. And I'm not only like teaching English, I'm a certified math teacher and I was teaching science for primary school and uh, ICT for secondary school, or oh, sorry, math for middle school, a lot of subjects. And I thought like a, it's kind of my field, I can do those things, I can, I will, it won't be a problem for me to find a job because I found a job like this in China, in Vietnam, no. no. I am, how old am I? I'm 34. Not that old, <laughs> but not that young. So I have a little bit of experience and I just know like in Russia it was not easy to find a job for me. Everyone was so demanding, like towards experience and uh, connections. In China it was extremely easy. Basically you just show up <laughs> online and they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll take you. In Vietnam it was uh, like uh, more complicated. Uh, than in China, but it was still easier a little bit than in Russia, at least for me. And Sweden, I feel like impossible. Out of all of the job applications uh, uh, like that I've seen and I sent my CVs, I got reply, uh, reply only once from a recruiting agency and it was only for a cover position for a job for teacher, basically substitute teacher. And they wanted someone who is already in the country and even my plan on going to the country in one month was not good enough for them because they knew that I will have to do the commute and it's again a very big thing because people in Sweden they change their jobs quite often and uh, they choose where to live because of their job. So first they find job and after they try to find a place where to live and if they cannot find a place where to live they have to change the job. So here is like job is everything.
and there are a lot of actually tricky things with the job. Wait, where is this musty? So they have different type of contracts and uh, temporarily permanent and permanent hold I think fast and other is something else. So when you get a job you almost never get permanent contract unless you have friends and uh, so it's for someone like you and me it's impossible I would say so you would always start with something temporarily temporarily is not paid well usually or paid well but we have they would never guarantee you that you will get the full, full employment if you don't get full employment it means you can't uh, no one really wants uh, to rent you out a place no one really wants to um, it will be difficult for you maybe to get like a bank id it's like a special uh, electronic not ident identification so it's difficult on all levels So, for example, my husband, he's working at the uh, paper factory. Um, he has been, he had been working there before, uh, before we met, when he was a student and he was very, okay, he was, I don't know, but he was quite good there. And uh, he left the job because he went to the university and after he went to China, Vietnam, where we lived together. And uh, when we, wanted to come back we decided to come back they didn't give him full contract even though he worked and he had like good reputation no they said okay you will be a summer worker for only three months and maybe later you'll get a full-time job so after three months he did not get a full uh, term contract they told him oh there were like summer vacations so we cannot really uh, process all of the applications, blah, blah, blah. And they had like a line of five or six people who really wanted to have full uh, long time contract, full normal contract. So only when, <laughs> basically only now from uh, January, he finally got his uh, full term contract at the end. He was also promoted because he was good and uh, they need people, they need the people. But even at that place, they're so lazy at looking for people. So they have uh, some people, they're drug addicts. Some people, they... Some, uh, they're drug addicts. Some are alcoholics. Some they lie all the time, they take a lot of days off and they're not been fired, they just keep them. There is one person uh, who's constantly sick. He like takes, every month he takes like, I don't know, six days off, six, 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 six leaves. And they cannot fire and they're too scared to fire. They just tell, speak nicely and so on. And these this, uh, unions, they're so strong, workers' unions, so impossible. And because of people like that, hardworking people cannot get a job. And uh, they don't even... Con and another thing, they hire women. I have nothing against hiring women, but uh, I've seen some photos, videos from the factory. It's like uh, not really nice environment for working. Uh, quite difficult sometimes so uh, it could be some heavy work not all, all the time but some parts and uh, if there are two candidates one is a man one is a woman they may choose a woman just for the diversity because oh we have so many men but we don't have enough women and that is the stupidest idea ever because you're supposed to uh, hire people who are good at the job or have good qualifications but no Sweden is like so weird in many many ways that it's strange one month contract no 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 usually 
people they uh, work for like for years on this uh, substitute or cover contract that is the problem even like for a Swede it's not easy to get a full-time uh, employment a full-time contract the proper contract <laughs> Uh, about bonus payments, I don't know like about everyone, but at least like at my husband's uh, factory there were no bonus payments and uh, it's just <laughs> not easy and a lot of companies they don't give uh, full employment, they give only 50% or 60% it is also horrible oh yeah and taxes Ooh -hoo -hoo. so when you get your contract you always have to pay attention how much is your salary before taxes how much is your salary after taxes how much is taxes now 25% uh, or 30 it depends and if you get if your salary is higher than a certain amount, I think you should say 40,000 a month, you're supposed to pay uh, extra taxes on that. I would say if you get full a full time job, yes, it's great. But you should be always prepared that uh, whatever people say like employees and so on they tell you okay yes we're going to give you this type of contract and after we change to this maybe they're telling the truth maybe it's their real intention but there is no guarantee that it will be like that because now everyone i can see is in the Okay, a lot of businesses they going on a lot of pressure for example we have like a local gas station i live in a very small city and uh, their normal electricity bill is like uh, 15 to 20 thousand francs a month it's what they usually pay and in i think november they their bill was 50 thousand francs and they were like on, they were thinking to shut down and local people had to <laughs> collect money to pay uh, the rent, not the rent, the electricity bill for that month just to keep the business alive. And now more and more places they're showing again like, okay, we are not capable of uh, really keeping up <laughs> with these prices. Government is straight up stealing money. Oh, of course they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. But uh, I think now they actually trying to. I think now, like at least the gas prices, they slow it up a little bit. So it is already a positive thing. Why? No, 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 no! I don't want to die. I really have to teleport because I'm dying mm. yeah so what I wanted to say because of all of this situation uh, maybe like even if the company really wants to hire you and uh, promise you this this and that it could be the true that they will give it to you but it could be like a lot of things will change and they would not be able to uh, continue having you because they may just shut down the company completely or they'll have to cut down on expenses and uh, 
Also, it could be just a longer process because for my husband, they promised him, okay, you'll work summer, three months, and after we'll give you a full-time contract. But he was full, uh, full, whatever. He worked full summer, and at the end of the summer, they told him, oh, because uh, we were on vacation, it was August, everyone's on vacation, we, can, we basically could not prepare all of the documents for you. So you will get for another three months, uh, whatever, cover, how, whatever you want to call. So those type of things are very annoying. And uh, that's what I meant when they tell you something. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will get those things. Oh, I would say not in time to process all of the things, like for the visa, for work permit. also have bought the Mordekaiser. Wasn't aware of all of this, I met many people and they never told me and spoke about the topic. Ah, uh, because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> why don't they talk? Maybe they don't want to really make Sweden sound bad or a lot of people, uh, if they're Swedes, it's not really a problem for them. Or maybe some people, they were from European Union already, like they it's also different. Every case is different. I will tell you more how stupid could be some of the Swedish um, situations. It's not like the country is bad or anything. Uh, we were living in Vietnam and China. So basically my husband was for eight years out of the country. And uh, his credit cards worked everywhere. They worked in Thailand, they worked in Vietnam, in China. During those eight years, we have never been to Sweden, so no problems, everything worked. We paid online for different services uh, like Netflix, uh, Spotify, PlayStation. Worked fine. So we're flying home and uh, we're drawing money in Istanbul at the airport and the ATM blocked his card. And because it was already after Russia-Ukraine war thing, all of my credit cards are blocked. So we have zero credit cards. So we arrive to Sweden, we go to a bank, and they tell us uh, basically, oh, we sent you a new card. You should receive it like within three days. A week passed, nothing happened. My mother-in-law sent us another card that she had like, um, on my husband's name it was just at her place she was living in another city so she sent it to us swedish post lost it so we never got this card so we went to the bank again and you can't do it online you have to go in person so went there again demanded the card and that they, they said oh yeah the card is ready but we cannot give it to you uh you must uh, receive it by the post that was like again a ridiculous thing why by the post why can't just I get it right no so for almost like a month we were living and we were using our friend's credit card because his stupid bank could not give him uh, a card and I'm not entitled to get any card because I don't have any documents that is just ridiculous okay Fiora is actually pushing their base that's interesting I didn't see that nice Fiora Dusha I wanted to say something else. 
If I could work anywhere else, for example, Germany, Switzerland, because it may be easier to move out to Sweden, then when I get me a passport, it's also much easier. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know how the employment process is in other countries. I don't know if it's easier or more difficult. Just telling you about Sweden that it's not nice. And also, like, another thing, like, my husband is a Swedish citizen, was born here, raised everything. So because he has been living abroad for a long time, he was kind of signed out of the country and uh, he had to re-register after coming back to Sweden. And even like if, with all of his like records of university or living, like his parents, Your personal number that says where was he born and everything. Even for that, just to confirm for him that he is living in Sweden and he's a Swedish citizen, it took him uh, about three months. I think it was like 12 weeks before. It was like 12 weeks at least. It's a very long time. And also don't uh, uh, forget about insurance and everything. So we were doing... So I was uh, uh, carrying dishes and I just stumbled on the wall because there was like a box, I didn't see it. And what happened? I really hurt my fingers, my toes a lot and it was that bad so I could barely walk, I could... Shit, I'm, I'm dying. So I could not walk, it really hurt so much, my toes, they were purple, it was horrible. I went to the, um, called my insurance company, they told me, okay, there is a clinic, you should go there. I went there, they told me, we never heard about your insurance company, they never told us anything, I was like, they sent you an email, no. Okay, I'm asking how much uh, should I pay for the visit, like, Every suite is supposed to pay like 200 kroners. If you're an asylum or person without documents, you pay zero. Oh no, you pay 50 kroners. And uh, for me, because I was just on a tourist oh, visa and my insurance for some reason was not recognizable, they asked, they quoted me 2,000 kroners. And I was like, what? Just for to look at my toes and do the x ray, 2,000 kroners? It was like, five times more expensive than in China or Vietnam in a super VIP clinic and it's just insane. <laughs> no, I am... I don't think I'm losing. We're 49, 48 and uh, we also destroyed uh, at least one of their inhibitors and uh, two towers are gone, so we're doing... <laughs> Over to Cinder and Echo. Okay. Your inhibitor is responding soon. What was he doing? Okay, can you stop him? Can you stop anyone? Oops, I died. Okay! <laughs> oh, three... Uh, wait, two versus four, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. Kill Mordecai, kill him! Kill, 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 kill! Please! Yes, okay! <laughs> two to five, that's a good ratio. Mm. Do you use Discord? Yeah, I do you use Discord. Actually, no, I don't use it, but I have it. I use it only sometimes. when people like really ask me because I'm not really sure how to how to use it properly because uh, some of my students in Vietnam um, one of my students he was my moderator on the channel actually he's still a moderator uh, he kind of tried to force me to use discord but I feel like it's too much pressure and too much work there 
Yeah, nobody can end the game. And imagine if I was focusing <laughs> on the game more. <laughs> but uh, my team is uh, finishing it now, almost. Hey, Fiora, don't die. I love you. Okay, my range now is pretty good. Okay. Who is going here? I'm going to you, Kaisa. What should I buy? Tell me what should I buy the last item. I don't know, should I buy a hat, random hat? Should I buy some fire, fire ages? Should I buy something else for Kaisa? Come on, we're here. Again? Oh, I know it. Zonia, but Zonia is kind of just stopped it from dying. I want more damage, maybe. Or should I buy Wormwood's armor? I already have like um, Spirit Visage. Because I soon I will have enough money to buy almost like whatever I want. Like I think I should be something more tankish maybe. Like uh, tankish roll would be better. Can alt and zone will still deal. Oh okay actually I never thought about that. Nice job, Kaisa Dunya. No, 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 not to this asshole. I fear for the darkness of the sphere. Okay. Nice. Kaisa saved me. <laughs> I thought it actually helped to, to kill, uh, what's her name, Jinx, but no. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I definitely have to go. Okay, you want to go, but guys, I don't have any help. Who got disconnected? I'm back. That was stupid for us to stay. <laughs> you got this. Okay, let's uh, buy Zoria. Zonia. Hey. Okay. Zonia. Let's do it. Oh no, we lost. Ah, come on. And not they finished. The stupid super minions finished. That's even worse. Okay. Sometimes it happens, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. I'm kind of uh, ashamed to look now. But now what I really like that they deduct uh, not as many points as before. Like if you remember last season, for a loss they will deduct like 16 to 18 points. And for the win, um, they will give you like 14 or something. Okay. 
Okay, so my friend is leaving. Vega teleporting to your Nexus and after like time to buy. Oh, okay. I, did, I was buying, I didn't really check. So you were like paying more attention than I did. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> my friends are like, okay, this idiots, they're crying, but the, no one uh, didn't want to defend the base. Yeah. And it was also my fault, I should have gone there and not really followed everyone. So. It is what it is, it's life. So what else? Hello Pushin! Come here Pushin! Where? Oh, this is my Chinese cat, my beef Katusha. Oh, pow. In, uh, in Swedish, in Chinese, pao fu means a cream puff. But uh, when they want something to sound cute, they say the first name kind of twice. So his name is pao pao. It's still cream puff. Hi, little Mia. And there behind uh, is the Vietnamese cat. She basically has the same colors, but she's tiny, half the size. She's like a mini cat, miniature cat. But she's a grown up girl. We call her Babushka, a grandma, because she takes care of everyone. Go, go, Pusha, go. Meow, meow, meow. Stop eating my candies, they're my candies. Okay, what else? Another changes in Swedish laws. Most of the museums, they are going to be paid now. Like uh, in 2015, they were uh, actually up until this year, they were free. So you could just go to a museum without any payment. And remember in 2015, I went to a museum in Stockholm for the first time and uh, i was like looking where we're supposed to pay like buy tickets and i was told no you don't have to pay any there uh you don't have to buy any tickets and i was like no it's it's a joke because everywhere in the world you're supposed to pay maybe locals don't have to but i'm a foreign i must pay and every time i saw like a museum the person who works in the museum i was like Kind of hiding i thought that <laughs> that i really went uh, to the museum illegally <laughs> but they were really for free and now you have to pay since january push on yeah they do fight uh the thing is like um, it, it's not like a real fight it's more like they're playing uh, because yeah i don't i don't remember any type of fights so when we just had Pao Pao, one time I brought the kitten home for only one night uh, to give it later for adoption and he went so crazy and so jealous he was like uh, basically he got angry with me for maybe three days and he really didn't want, like the kitten he wanted to scratch him and uh, attack it was really a difficult night. Another time, uh, our neighbor's cat uh, got lost and got to our balcony, and it was a very beautiful girl. And ours is a guy, so we, he started hissing at her and really attacking and scratching. And I was like, okay, we would never get another cat because it's impossible. And we really wanted to have a second cat. And Mini because she's so tiny, we call her mini. Uh, <laughs> so in Vietnam, we felt like, okay, because he had nothing to do at home, like nothing to look out. There was, he could look out of the window, but there were only two trees. And maybe sometimes people will pass by, but there was like really nothing. It was so boring and he felt so depressed. So we were like, Okay, we need another cat and we saw like a post on uh, Facebook uh, from a shelter that okay there is a mother cat she just gave birth to kittens and she needs a home blah 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 we're like okay let's take her because uh, no one usually wants adult cats and especially girls so we were like okay let's take her went to the shelter 
and we got so disappointed because they didn't have that cat but they had a lot of other cats and we were walking and my husband he was just like so passive he really hates such places and because he feels really sorry i also feel very sorry for all of the animals and i saw this little girl and i was like i can take her for free she's so cute and she looks a little bit um, her spots are more roundish so she looks a little bit like those feral cats um not savannah cats but those a little bit of expensive breed when they're kittens they look like and but she was already a grown-up cat and they, i thought they kind of cheated us and it was a baby cat <laughs> but uh, uh, they told us that she was a grown-up cat so nevertheless took her we took her i brought her home put the cage like uh, the airplane cage like on the floor and Pao Pao came to sniff her and he didn't do anything like he didn't hiss he didn't attack he sniffed and he left and we opened the door and uh, she went out she hid somewhere under I think the bed or under the desk and he was like really attentive he was checking if she was fine or not so there was no fights at all i was like what is going on it is th is it the same cat that really attacked other like a tiny innocent kitten and a very beautiful female cat I was like what's going on no he never really attacked her they do get jealous of each other but it only goes in the way like oh i'm just looking at you i'm staring and uh, maybe i will not come to you in the morning to lie together or something like that but they don't really fight sometimes when they play uh, they use claws and they may hurt each other but it's kind of normal cat story so I truly believe in destiny because I was not able to find any um, long-term partner or like serious partner for a long time and I always blamed myself uh, like oh I'm not smart enough I'm not beautiful enough I'm not that enough uh, but it wasn't just the right time first of all and second of all I found out that I'm a little bit um, on the spectrum uh, like Asperger's spectrum so a little bit autistic uh, not in the way that like you know there could be slow functioning and uh, high functioning I'm definitely a high functioning person just uh, the way like maybe I do not always interpret people's <laughs> facial expressions well or like maybe sometimes I'm too straightforward just things like that and all other people they were that I tried to date ever they were more normal that was the thing and I think the same like with my cats like uh, Pao Pao he was actually bought on a um, second hand store uh, online second uh, hand platform in China and for some reason my husband got so attached uh, to him and uh, when the girl a student who was kind of she was not really selling him she just wanted her money back for the food and the cage that she bought just stuff like that uh, so she, she really wanted to give him to her friend or something like that and my husband got so angry so upset and i couldn't understand why because i did not have really many feelings at that time for that for this cat and uh, now he is basically my favorite <laughs> he is my my baby my son and with Minnie it's the opposite I fell in love with her I was like okay I can get this cat for free really I felt like that kind of connection and I really took her my husband was like ah, whatever just a cat but now she is his girl like she loves him she was always bitchy towards me i'm not lying cats can be bitchy and she really gave me that bitchy girl face not like 
someone, but like a really mean girl. And uh, only after two years, she became somewhat okay with me touching her sometimes. So she's completely daddy's girl. <laughs> and I can see that basically our cats, they resemble our personalities. So... Uh, karma or <laughs> destiny. Okay, Twitch, come here! I tend to sometimes to space out of verbal conversation because of my overthinking, but people think that I don't care what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly, that is one of the traits of Asperger's. For example, my husband is also high functional. Uh, but he is, his father has Asperger's and uh, diagnosed. My husband has no diagnosed. Uh, we didn't diagnose him. So, basically, uh, if you talk to him, looking into his eyes, he cannot uh, concentrate. He hears you, but he remembers nothing. But if he just stands on the side and he's just listening, not even uh, carefully, he remembers everything, like all small details and... Which should die. Yeah, it could be also difficult to really understand like when people are joking or like your own jokes could be sometimes tricky. Like you think you're funny but you're not. <laughs> Bitchy like the cat doesn't scratch us worse than judges you <laughs> by the look. Yeah, that's true. No, she has never scratched uh anyone i think maybe one time she scratched me it was not even a scratch i was playing with her with the fabric and uh, she was just too playful and it was just like one tiny tiny scratch but i took her to the vet like to neuter her to microchip her to do everything like because i'm pretty good at holding cats and uh, i can hold them very firmly so they won't really escape or they won't bite anyone so I always go to the vet she never ever <laughs> even tried to scratch me but big cat oh! when we neutered him uh, the vet told us okay he should stay in the clinic for two, three nights just so we can monitor him and check that he's fine. And we're like, okay, good. <laughs> the next day, so the surgery was, let's say, at 4 p.m. And uh, in the morning, they called us, okay, your cat escaped from a metal, metal bar cage. And he is hiding on the AC, like he's sitting on the AC in the Corner. please come and get your cat <laughs> I was like okay so he was like really uh, sitting in that cage and he was like really trying to destroy jumping in it after the surgery <laughs> after all of the things <laughs> and he escaped and he also like scratched the doctor uh, who was like uh, checking on him <laughs> yeah, so he is, uh, but he's a nice boy unless he's um, screaming. That's his screams, it's so annoying. And he's not just screaming, he's just like really trying to piss you off on purpose. And you know how these cats do, they just uh, come and they do something forbidden while looking you into the eyes that is what he does oh my god all of those leather sofas in china how much he scratched them ooh, ooh, ooh. yes pusha i'm talking about you 
about my little Essie Daisy. It's difficult. So many of these guys. I didn't see pink, sorry, I did not pay attention. Oh. Yeah, I was not good here, like, but I uh, because I got stopped by Vagar. That's the uh, thing. Push it. Okay, you can sit on that bag. It's okay. I don't know why is everyone bought. Sometimes it's just like happens. Keep it tackle. I should go recall. Hello, my pushes. My slot key douches. It's so strange that uh, when I talk to cats, <laughs> I speak in so many languages. Like I speak in Russian, I speak in English, I speak. Uh, in Swedish, I don't speak Swedish well, just I know some of the words and because he is Chinese I will say some words in Chinese for him but he really hates Chinese language, he's always scared of anyone speaking Chinese when we had like Chinese friends coming, he would always hide and uh, he will just run away and anyone who speaks in English, it was fine, even Chinese speaking in English wasn't a big it, he didn't like people like uh, in general, but it was uh, not as bad. <laughs> oh, I gotta go get. Oh, sorry. Let's see what's going on here. Who is that? Is it Jack? Or is it Garen? Jax. I gotta get ready for sleep work tomorrow. Nice talking to you and next time. Okay, see ya! Actually, I'm also going to sleep quite soon because after all of my 8 grams of Amanita, I am uh, feeling quite... Uh, tired but I really wanted to play a little bit more like I wanted to play at least one game with my friend and uh, I forgot that now it's not my friend anymore It's not the one I want to kill. I want to kill that one. Shit. Oh. Of course he escaped. I knew that I was who I was supposed to. Okay. Nice job, block. Thank you for helping me. Do -do 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 -do. got smashed and I kind of couldn't really help her but scared what if they come here or no oops 
sorry, I just wanted to lower it a little bit. Get assist! Yay! Thank you! Okay, for that one I did not get anything, but I didn't do anything, so... Makes sense! Push, 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 push! Uki, my bula patush! Think after this game we're going to sleep, da porbatusha! <laughs> because I really feel tired. I love it. Mushrooms are working. Here's again bigger. <laughs> kind of got confused a little bit with the previous game. <laughs> nice job, Lucky Dusha. I don't know, but you're going to die. I don't know, Volley should have not really ran there. But he did. Check for another uh, ward. Okay, I'm going just to wait here for a little bit. my poor boy oh and I will go to the base to buy stuff because they don't even have boots penetration boots and a little bit of defense oh my eyes are so tired it's so good 
So finally I would be able to sleep. Dun, da, da, da. I don't know how much time did it take. It's 9.41 and we started streaming 5.30. That was a little bit, a couple of minutes late. going to Baron with you. Okay, I think maybe I should go here with Lost. It's a palace. Ho, ho, ho. I think Seth was still kind of wanted to play, but they surrender. Booty, booty, boo. We are so happy because we can go to bed. <laughs> oh, and the final game is the victory. So this is so nice. And we got S together. La 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 la. Okay. Uh, Fountain, Swain, and Lock. Whoa, three X. Two two Browns three da 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 I don't know why I'm so happy. I was uh, basically a week ago I was fighting for Browns one and now it's like Browns three happy but this is uh, where I belong. This is where I get uh, the good scores and so on. So guys again I uh, just want to sh tell you one more time that it's been three and a half hours no, three. So, so, yeah, three hours and 15 minutes since uh, I took uh, eight and a half grams of Amanita Muscaria in capsules. And as you can see, I am. Okay, I don't have any trips. Maybe I'm slightly. Uh, would not say high, but slightly different. Mm. Like, imagine if you drink a little bit of alcohol, you feel a little bit tipsy. So, maybe something like this. But definitely nothing else and uh, my eyes are tired so I feel sleepy so this is exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to sleep now and uh, this is it so as you can see my game was not really affected much even by taking oh, push up. 
a bigger dosage as last time but uh, everybody is different and uh, don't <laughs> repeat things don't do things because i did it just uh, do things if you really feel to do those things and always be cautious always feel how your body feels not like how others supposed to feel not how others feel or not how others tell you that you're supposed to feel so eight and a half grams no trips and uh, stay tuned thanks for being with me and uh, see you next time i think tomorrow we'll do the same with the uh, russian speaking uh, channel and uh, see you Bye-bye-bye.